Okay, so 1968, a tumultuous year. Uh, you have a surprise attack, which is known as the Tet Offensive. Na January 30th is the New Year's Eve in Vietnam, also known as the Tet. Um, they created a ceasefire, which is no more fighting, no, you know, gunfire, the fire, the fighting stops to celebrate the new year. And this was done on both sides. Now, the Tet Offensive was a surprise attack of the Viet Cong against South Vietnam. Now, they took advantage that they weren't expecting this to happen. And it was a surprise attack. And it was all recorded. LBJ's popularity drops because this is televised and they are seeing what is going on. And it is a lot of American casualties that they see. And here are all the places where they were attacked. Um, United States bases are the ones in white squares. And of course, you can see how most of those military bases were attacked. Okay, so LBJ's pro popularity has dropped. Janu uh, February 1968, most Americans were against the war. Now, Roy Benavides, he carried wounded members of his platoon to rescue helicopters. Uh, he was critically wounded but refused to stop, kind of like Forrest Gump that we see in the movie, right? Um, but he was a real-life person. He saved eight lives, and he received the Medal of Honor in 1981, and he died in San Antonio in 1998. That's Roy Benavides. Okay. Now, the war under President Nixon... You have divided Democrats, the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy, which is JFK's brother. Um, he was killed in a hotel kitchen. Violence at Democratic National Convention. Richard M. Nixon, a Republican, becomes president. Right. Richard M. Nixon, he becomes president now. Now his campaign is anti-communist, of course. He promised Americans peace with honor. Peace with honor, meaning get us out of the war. However, there were five more years of war. Now here you can see the independent is going to be George Wallace. Y'all remember Wallace from the Civil Rights Movement. Um, he's one of the uh, governors who decided to stand in the front of the schools, right? To keep uh, blacks from integrating in the school system. Now, Nixon creates something known as Vietnamization. Vietnamization. Um, he was aided by Henry Kissinger. Vietnamization is giving the war back to South Vietnam. Basically, we are just going to provide them with weapons, not really with soldiers. So we're going to train their men to fight like us. We increased bombing. Diplomacy, which is us coming to agreements with South Vietnam, uh, the silent majority, and the My Lai Massacre. Nixon wanted to appeal to the silent majority, which is mainstream Americans who supported the war. That's who he felt. And think about the word, silent majority. It's the majority of the people who really don't want to give an opinion. But he felt that the majority of the people were for the war. They just didn't want to stir trouble. November 1969, a United States platoon had massacred innocent civilians in the small village of Mai Lai. Um, this is where Vietnam veterans are going to have uh, really no respect of the American people, and they're going to be known as baby killers. Uh, the search and destroy mission left over 200 innocent women, children, and elderly dead. And going back to Vietnam being the first televised war, we, a lot of Americans saw this and they did not agree with what soldiers were doing in Vietnam. It was reported in the New York Times and of course these are the kind of pictures that they were that they saw and Americans were totally against the war. All right, totally against this war. And that's why they were known as baby killers. <laughs> 